a shout out to my homegirl Isa for letting me borrow her Instagram story. I'm a tagger. Please give her a follow. She's just as big of a horror fan as people in the horror community. But look what she just said a couple days ago on her story. Just take a moment and read it. Now, I told Isa that they could fucking bring back Jamie Kennedy as Randy Meeks, Stu Mocker, Billy Loomis. Hell, they can somehow bring back fucking Dewey Riley and Tatum. I'm still not going to support the movie. This is just fucking stupid. And it goes to show that Spyglass Media only wants it for the money. The fact that they already have talked talked about bringing back Neve Campbell as Sidney Prescott and Patrick Dempsey as Mark Kincaid. And I know in the beginning I said that, oh, watch, Mark would be the opening kill, as many other Scream fans have predicted. But this is just so fucking stupid. And this is just beyond the Melissa Barrera's firing even though I still think it's she was done wrong. She should have been talked to. She should have been fired. And regardless of what you believe in with this whole Israel and Palestine thing, no one should have got fired because of it. And before anyone asks, like I said in a previous video that I made like this, I don't know about the whole thing. I'm just in support of innocent lives not being taken. So my heart, prayers, and love goes out to any innocent victims on either side. It just, it's a terrible thing. And... As much as it sucks to say this, I'm boycotting Scream 7. Like I said, you can bring back Randy. You can bring back every fan favorite character in the Scream franchise that died. Or do this whole fucking creative reboot that Spyglass Media want to do. But I'm just not supporting it. It's just stupid. And I'm praying that whoever sees this video for any horror content creator that I've talked to. Or any movie content creator that I've talked to. Just think about it for a moment about how Melissa got done so dirty. And if Spyglass Media really tries to hire back Melissa, I hope she gives them the biggest fuck you to them. I mean, they already lost Jane Ortega. They're probably going to lose Mason Gooding and Jasmine Savoy Brown. And for anyone that wants to wonder why I'm so passionate about this, well, think of it like this. I'm a Latino man. Viva la raza, mi hermanos, mi hermanas. And Melissa is a Latina cast, or she was cast in a big franchise that gave a lot of representation. And now, for me, normally, I really don't care about representation. I really just want a good story. You know, unlike movies like Blue Beetle, which I love as a Latino man myself. But it was just so cool to see that just diversity, when it's done right, of course, in my humble opinion. And then she gets fucking fired for speaking out against something that's totally horrible. Like, do we not care about innocent lives being taken? And so I'm asking for everyone in the horror community... Just don't support Scream 7. Now, if you watch it, that's totally fine. That's on you. I get it. That's totally fine. But just think about it. To me, I'm not going to support Scream 7. Like I said, you can bring back everyone's fan favorite character. Randy, Stu, Billy, fucking even Joel from Scream 2. Even Mickey or Mrs. Loomis. And you're still not getting a dollar out of me. Now, I understand that some content creators have to watch this movie to make a living because it's their daily lives. And that's how they make money. No problem right there. That is totally fine. I can't stop you. But this is, you know, maybe I'm in the minority of people that are boycotting Scream 7. Oh, well, you know, maybe we're a small army. But just, I got to speak out against injustice. And this is just fucked up to me. Leave a comment about the whole thing. Do you think it was the right move to fire Melissa? Or do you think she was done wrong? Let me know in the comments below.